My name's Pippa Steele and I'm a classicist specialising in linguistics. In classical linguistics, we try to understand how ancient languages worked. That involves asking questions like, what did Latin and Greek sound like? How did ancient languages change over time? Did women speak differently to men in the ancient world? I work on Linear B which is our name for a writing system used in Greece over 3,000 years ago, mostly written on clay tablets like this. In the 1950s, it was deciphered and discovered to be the earliest surviving record of the Greek language. We call this stage of Greek Mycenaean Greek. I want to show you one of my very favourite ancient inscriptions. This is another clay tablet inscribed in Linear B. It's an administrative document, sort of like a receipt for a transaction. The words are spelt out in syllables in the signs of the Linear B script. In big signs at the beginning is a person's name, tu we non no, twi non. The rest of the tablet tells us what twi non has contributed. You can probably make out the numeral on the far right. Here we have six units of a commodity represented by a symbol that looks a bit like a pepper pot or salt cellar. Then in small signs at the top, we have a word that specifies what the commodity is. Coriadono, coriadnon. Now, if I told you that this was a word for a type of herb, could you work out what it is? If you're thinking coriander, then you're right. Our word for it hasn't changed much over the last three and a half thousand years, has it? Finally, at the bottom, there's another word, kupiria. This is another person's name and belongs to the person overseeing Tweenon's contribution. Kupiria is kuprios which means Cypriot. This refers to the island of Cyprus, which is still known by the same name today. I'm always amazed that when we study the minute features of ancient languages, we often find these little details that just bring you straight back to the world today. That's why I really love what I do.